Crews are working to restore power in downtown Boston this morning. An electrical transformer fire last night left more than 20,000 people without electricity. It disrupted travel and forced evacuations. National correspondent Jim Axelrod is in Boston this morning. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning, Erica. The fire was first reported about 6.30 last night. It started in a 115,000-volt transformer behind the Hilton Hotel here in a part of downtown Boston known as Back Bay. Thick black smoke covered over downtown Boston Tuesday night after an electrical fire broke out, leaving a large section of the city in the dark. Our condo building lost power completely. So I went on the roof deck and I looked over and I saw just massive black plumes of smoke. The fire erupted in a substation behind the Back Bay Hilton Hotel and then spread to a second substation, triggering the massive blackout. At first, officials feared the smoke could be toxic. People, I need everybody to turn around. Let's go. Hundreds of hotel guests were evacuated and later moved to a nearby Sheraton. We're stopped right here. We can't go downtown. You know, I couldn't even get a taxi. No serious injuries were reported. There were no reports of looting either, but police shut down surrounding streets as a precaution. This is a massive outage. Um, we've activated large number of offices so that there'll be visibility throughout the affected area. Firefighters cut their way into the substation to gain control of the fire. Utility company NSTAR began assessing the damage last night, promising to bring in large generators to help get things back up and running. We're all working hard on this, and uh, we want to make sure we're all back online as quickly as possible. Now, NSTAR, the local power company, says overnight they restored power to 8,000 customers and hope to have the lights on for everyone sometime later today. Jim, thank you very much.